Okay, now let's make our form be clickable. So we click on form events here. And we don't want this to be in the load, rather we want this to be in the key down. So whenever we press a key, our form will be able to capture this event. And let's now use that invisible label that we added earlier. All right. So let me make this a little bit bigger here. Notice that we have um, this event argument E. We're going to use this now. So let's see here. A little comment here. Let's display the key code. So whenever we press a key, we want the label key code dot visible to equal true now. So that's going to make our label visible. And then let's put the key code value into that label. Label key code dot text equals now we have the event so that's e dot and in this case key code e dot key code let's run this and see what what we get so now if I press the letter a for example I get 65 that's the ASCII character 65 if I press the up arrow it's 38, the right arrow is 39, the down arrow is 40, and the left arrow is 37. So 37 through 40 are our keystrokes. However, there's an easier way to see this. We can take the key code, like I have here, and let's convert that guy to a string. And now if we run it, it takes the key code, which is an ASCII character, converts that to a string, and Windows does it nicely for us. Up right, down, and left. Pretty swift. We can use this key code here, e.keycode, to make our object move. And that's what we're going to do right now. So let's move the box. Okay. So if our key code, for example, um, equals right, keys.right, then what do we want to do? We want the box's x-coordinate, because we're moving it to the right, the box's x-coordinate, the new box's x-coordinate, to equal the previous box's coordinate, the old box coordinate, plus some number of pixels. And we've defined that up there in our declarations as box jump. It's five pixels that gives a pretty nice, nice smooth curve smooth movement. So that's we have to add three more lines here, but let's see what that does if we run it. And now if I press the right arrow, oops, I need to sorry, click on the picture box to see it and then move the right arrow and nothing's happening. And why is that? Well, we have just told it that the box's coordinates need to be moved. We didn't tell the computer to redraw the box. So we need to come down here and then add a command draw picture box. All right, computers never do what you want them to do, only what you tell them to do. Let's rerun it. Click on the picture box and now our right arrow will move it. Of course our lefts and ups and downs don't do anything because we have not added that code. Let's go in there and quickly do that. I think you can see what's happening. So now we do the left. Of course, this is also the box x coordinate. Box x minus the box jump because our x coordinate is getting lower. And now if we go down. If we go down, unlike math class, the box's y coordinate here will increase. All right, because the top left hand corner is 0, 0. So if key code is up, it's a little counterintuitive for you in your pre calculus classes.
box, jump. All right. So up takes it away in the in the uh, y direction, and down adds it. Okay. So let's give that a shot. See what we have. Click to begin. Left. Oh, sorry, right. Left. Up. Down. All right, but now watch this. If we go left, 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 it will certainly scroll off the screen, and we do not want that. So let's write some code to stop that. Let's keep the the box in the let's keep the uh, the box in the picture box. So let's think about if it goes to the far left. If the box is left x coordinate of the x coordinate of the box is less than 0 scrolls off the screen to the to the to the left then let's just keep box x equal to 0 and the same is true if box y is less than 0 then box y equals 0 now let's run that and see what see if those work So I'm going to go left. And I'm pressing the button, nothing's happening. Let's go up, and that keeps us on the screen as well. Perfect. To keep the right hand side on the screen, we have to use a little bit of trig uh, not trigonometry, a little bit of arithmetic, basically. If the box, oh, I'm going to set these off in parentheses just so they're easy to see. If boxes X position plus the box width. Now that's going to be the left hand side of the box. If that is greater than the picture boxes width then we want the the left hand side of the box, box X to equal picture boxes width minus the box's width. The box's width. Yep. Sorry about that. Okay, let's run that. Just well, let's go ahead and put in the, the y coordinate. If the y coordinate plus the box's height is greater than the picture box's height then box y equals the picture box's height minus the box's height that is it let's see Now if we click here, scroll up, that stops it. Scroll left, that stops it. Down, that stops it. And if this is moving too slowly for you, you can always just simply change the, the jump. All right, there you go. Whew, fast and furious. The next thing we'll do is we will produce a... Um, the same kind of program, but this time we're going to add a button to the screen. Oftentimes we want our programs to have buttons, and to include a button will require a little bit of extra coding that um, is not intuitive and obvious. But that's Graphics 103, and this one concludes Graphics 102. Thanks for watching.